On Draw Stuff Real Easy today, I'm going to show you how to draw a trebuchet. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. You're going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser. Now, I'm not going to kid you, this is not an easy drawing, but I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible. So we're going to draw the base and we want to do, draw two, th two thin lines like that, parallel two bits coming down there. So this is a, a, like a great long block of timber. And then we're going to join that at the front with another piece of timber like that. And then we can go all the way back like that. And then that's going to be sort of joining up about there. And we want a little kind of box there. And then that will be another long thin piece coming to the back. This will be like a cross piece going in there that will come back like that and down and in and you can see we've got a kind of a flat base now around about here I'm going to draw a line going up across all these cross lines will be kind of parallel like that and then that will go up there like that and then down back again to there and we'll have a little kind of diamond shape up at the top and that's going to be coming across there like that so this will want to come up again it all wants to be kind of parallel that's coming up there and there's, <laughs> there's a lot of this okay so we've got a little box at the top and then we want a little angle down there like that across angle up to there and then we want another one that's going to come down to there down to there across and then that will be up on the inside <laughs> That would be the same height like coming down, down, across and up. And similarly down there, across and up. So this is very, very 3D. We're going to want like an axle that's going to go through there and across the top there and underneath there. So this is going to be, wait a minute, let's I think that's going to be about there. So we want that line coming across there. That's coming underneath. Getting a bit thinner towards the end like that. And this will be coming to the front here. And then we're going to draw a nice curve. I'm going to put this kind of curved, kind of great big heavy weight on the front there. And that's just going to sort of come in like that. We're going to want straps and things like that. We'll want straps coming around there and there. And then we need to pull this down. So this is going to have a couple of little rings there and another ring like that. And then we have a kind of a pin through there. And then that's the trigger. So you pull that out and the whole thing goes shooting off. Um, and we're going to bring this down so we can have a like a little triangle there and then again there'll be an axle point there and we're going to want a winding wheel there and that will be uh, kind of quite sort of thick like that and then that's going to have little handles so that you can wind the whole thing down and that would be looking something like that and then we're going to have a dowel coming all the way through there with the rope attached and then we'll see the other side of it there and basically that's it we're just going to need the the slingshot we need a little hook on the end there like that with a little ring <laughs> I guess it's not easy I'll just bring that down so it's back in the middle of the page and what you want to do is draw the things that are nearest to you and I think this big kind of weight at the front is probably the nearest thing and we'll kind of bring that down there like that and it kind of gets narrower there and we're going to want that to be strapped on let's bring that all the way back there that's going to get thinner towards the end then I think we need to draw this these parts and we'll bring that in let's just do that yeah and bring that up there it's a bit wiggly like that and that will come down to there 
which means then we can draw this axle in here so we can see that it's kind of going through there and again this wants to get thinner and thinner and thinner to the end and we're going to have a little hook and a ring and here we're going to have a, a, a ring with a piece of rope attached so you pull this pin out and there are two rings there and in between it you've got another ring with this rope attached so this is being wound around the drum here which i think i called a dowel but i think a dowel is a bit thinner really <laughs> so let's draw that circle there and then it's a bit messy with this bit of rope hanging down isn't it um, and then we need to draw these handles coming out of the drum so that the, that's what you wind this down with it's going like that and then we'll probably uh, want to do something like that then we can draw the rest of the bit on the bottom like that and let's do those brackety bits there like that which are holding the whole thing together and along there too and then we need to draw the e and the other support going up there this is very complicated but if you kind of planned it out work your way you know plan it out in pencil and then you just kind of work your way up and take your time i think that's the secret is not to not to rush it and sort of think your way through so that'll be there that can come to there that's going to come there and it's hidden behind the weight like that and then that will come to there and that part's hidden and then we can draw that part there and quite a lot of this is hidden around the other side so we want to see that axle going through there an axle is basically something around which something else <laughs> revolves so you could have a wheel on the end that kind of thing um, and then we'll have some bit of rope hanging on there and this is coming down to the slingshot part where we're going to have the rock inside there we've got a little ring there and then that will come down to the other side draw that there draw that there if you get to finish this you're going <laughs> to be really really good tag draw stuff real easy on there and i'll be able to see it now, when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase all those pencil lines. Now, I'm going to um, make this look like stone or something by putting these sort of funny little lines in. It's just to give it a bit of texture um, to make it look a bit different to the rest. And um, we're going to need some kind of hard shading in these little sort of secret places, hiding places underneath like that. And then that will be quite good there. Um, um we'll maybe have something there and there oh i forgot that bit there um, we'll probably have a bit of shading down there and a bit of shading there i'm going to put a bit of shading on the ground like that there and we'll have it on this side too just to kind of place it on the ground have a little bit of shading on there uh, I think we can do a little bit on the handles as well. And then you can very, very gently do these little kind of wiggly lines like that to make it look like wood. Do it very gently. Don't, don't press too hard. Just kind of skip over the surface of the paper. And we can probably do the same there as well. And along there and along there. And, and then the easiest thing then is just to uh, oh I never <laughs> never put the rest of this in here did I so we need that to be on there um, and then and then we can have it kind of a bit of horizon there and that will put it on the battlefield and a bit of grass around it and there you are how <laughs> to draw 
a trebuchet, a little bit of shade there too. Thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.